when taking your dog for a walk around the block, do you find that your dog spends more time sniffing and, well, peeing than actually moving all four legs? Well, our special guest today will share a genius way, I did say genius, to keep your dog fit. She invented a mobile canine gym. Here to share the details is the founder of the Packin Method, Nicole Brown Packin. Hey, buddy, welcome to the show, Nicole. Hello, good to see you. Thank you for having me. Great to see your face. All right. You know, everyone, she's a triple threat. Not only is she trying to get your pet fit, and she does have a master certified in applied animal behavior, some other lots of little things, initials (laughs) after her name. She operates a very successful pet sitting business in Miami that keeps winning awards. And her heart is big because one of the things she does as a volunteer, make that super volunteer, is to help canine companions. I just want to kind of dive in because our earlier guest is Courtney Craig from the Canine Companions location in the Irving, Texas area, and you're hooked up with them. So what's your fancy title there? What's your connection with Canine Companions? And tell me about September 30th. Sure. So I am honored to say that I am the chair of the DogFest DFW event. Um, It is their annual signature event. It's dog and family friendly. It's happening on September 30th at the Sound in Cypress Waters in Coppell. And it's a lovely afternoon, three hours of activities for kids, activities for dogs. There's costume contests, trick contests. Mm -hmm. Uh, We're going to have demos from the Disc Dogs of Dallas, a lure course for dogs. It's all to celebrate the canine and, and human bond. Canine Companions is a national organization They breed, train, and give service dogs for those who can't live independently, and it's all free of charge. And these dogs go through a two-year process to become a working service dog, and it's right in our backyard here in Texas, and we have an amazing chapter here in Coppell. Well, I, you and I are big supporters of Canine Companions. I used to live in Oceanside, California, and that's another one of the locations of the centers. And I'm happy that you said, Arden, what are you doing on September 30th with your dog? I I did. And she is a certified therapy dog, not a service dog. And she is a super pet safety dog. So what what did you uh, convince us to do that day? (laughs) So I invited you to come out so that you could speak to the guests and pet owners about first aid and CPR and talk to them about basic instructions to be able to help their animals in need at home to stabilize them and get to the vet. Simple things. They get bit by a bee. They break a nail. They have an allergic reaction to something. I know being certified in CPR and first aid, there are certain things that pet owners just are going to be too stressed out about to do, but the basics to be able to stabilize and get them to the vet, I think is really important for every pet owner. And so who better to ask than (laughs) you? So absolutely, you got to be there and you will be there. We will. And I love Kona because she is probably one of the best safety dogs I've ever met on the planet and she's ready we're going to have some fun on stage we call it how to be a mutt giver what do you do when you don't have a first aid kit and the vet is far away we're going to do that but so i really bless you for being a super volunteer with the canine companions but let's get physical physical (laughs) my doggy wants physical what in the heck is the packing method (laughs) Oh, so the packing method is essentially the method of madness that I created to exercise my own animals and to help with animals in Miami when I was living there with my business. And essentially, it's a mobile dog gym and we offer treadmill exercise, massage therapy, and physical fitness for dogs. Excellent. And what that means is I look at an animal from snout to tail and I want them to be. 360 degrees healthy brain heart body and so that's what i offer here in texas 
And we have to have every great invention has a muse or someone, <laughs> some sentient being that, that kind of inspired you. Can we talk about Kevin? We can talk about Kevin, not little. <laughs> so Kevin is my almost three-year-old, 100-pound Italian Spinoni. And he and his sis sister, Jenny, blessed us and came to our home during COVID. And it was different for my husband and I because we always had small dogs that required exercise, but different exercise. And we yeah. also had a handicapped dog that was paralyzed on wheels. So her, her, her care was different. And what I had noticed in the years of working with animals at Miami Pet Concierge, which was my pet sitting business, or when I worked at the Humane Society of Greater Miami, were that a lot of dogs were finding themselves getting into trouble out of boredom and lack of exercise. Yeah. And just because your dog gets exercise doesn't mean they're going to behave well if they're bored and vice versa. Good point. So when we received our, our puppies, I noticed that their their inability to settle down was different than other dogs I'd worked with. And I think it's part of their working breed. They were their their bred to hunt. Okay. And so when they were about five or six months, I would put them on the treadmill. And let me clarify, they did not run because their yes. bones weren't fused, but they would just play around on it and they would walk yeah. on it, stop and sniff. And as they got older and they grew and they became more sturdy. Kevin has become the spokesperson. This is Slater. My cat, he is going to be involved in this conversation. I see Kevin has become the face of my business. He does all my demos with me. He absolutely loves it. He does not go fast, but he, he gets a great exercise from it. He works out a couple times a week and he is the face of the business. And Tell us, it's in a van that you bring to a client's home or wherever, Absolutely. and it's air conditioned, climate controlled. I saw it. You pulled up my house when <laughs> Kevin had a play date with my dogs, Kona and Emma. But that gives takes away the excuse of not being able to do it. Yeah, you know, I had originally thought about doing a brick and mortar, but because I had moved to a new st city, that's a big expense and a risk when you don't know anyone and people don't know right. you. So we decided to go mobile and we had we had talked about going mobile in Miami, but COVID happened and being able to get the vans was impossible. But yeah, it's a Ford truck and it okay. has a high roof and it is fully loaded with all of my tools and equipment and it has heat when it's cold and air conditioning when it's hot. And I pull up to people's homes and grab their dogs and exercise them.